From the roar of the crowd to the roar of the engine, this is Pit Pass. Pit Pass is brought to you by Jake's Carts. Here's your host, Ron Fox. Hello and welcome to another edition of Pit Pass. We will start the show off with a trip to Motordrome Speedway, where on Friday they ran their annual Steel City 100 for the late models. As with many 100 lappers at the Speedway, we saw some surprises near the front of the field, some heartbreak, and of course, one happy driver. The top 12 qualifiers had to redraw for their starting positions. Bobby Henry picked a number two, then the second fastest qualifier, Gary Wiltrout, drew the pole position, leaving Barry Audi the top qualifier to start 10th. That meant the teammates started on the front row. Two of their sponsors, Stone & Company and Megan Ford, just happened to be the sponsors of the Steel City 100 as well. Roar of the crowd to the roar of the engine. Crowd to the roar of the engine. This is Pit Pass. Pass is brought to you by Jake's Carts. Here's your host, Ron Fox. Hello and welcome to another edition of Pit Pass. We will start the show off with a trip to Motordrome Speedway, where on Friday they ran their annual Steel City 100 for the late models. As with many 100 lappers at the Speedway, we saw some surprises near the front of the field, some heartbreak, and of course, one happy driver. The top 12 qualifiers had to redraw for their starting positions. Bobby Henry picked a number two, then the second fastest qualifier, Gary Wiltrout, drew the pole position, leaving Barry Audi the top qualifier to start 10th. That meant the teammates started on the front row. Two of their sponsors, Stone & Company and Megan Ford, just happened to be the sponsors of the Steel City 100 as well. Interesting. At the drop of the green, Will Trout in the number 95 would jump to the point while Henry in the 11 would fall into line for second place. Early on, Ohio driver Jimmy Carter in the white number 20 would work his way past the 96 of Mark Pohl. And the 9 of Will Thomas gets by the double zero of Larry Bahanna for third place. Up front, Will Trout would lead the first seven laps before Henry would take the point position. Pull would bring out the caution with 13 laps completed as he has some obvious problems at the rear of his car. He would lose only one lap after quick work by his crew. On the restart, Nathan Russell in the red 26 jumps to the outside of Bahanna to move into fourth. He then works the outside of Thomas for third. Henry would continue to lead with Will Trout only a few car lengths behind. A caution a few laps later allowed Pull to get his lap back via the lucky dog. On the restart, it is still the teammates running one and two with Thomas in third, Russell in fourth, and Behanna fifth. Number three, Jeff Brown in sixth, would be challenged for the spot by Carter. Before a quarter of the race was complete, Adam Kostelnik driving a Neil Brown backup for Benz Motorsports is up to ninth place. Although he drew the fifth starting spot, he elected to start shotgun in the 23 car field. Later, his teammate Neil Brown would pit under caution and his crew goes to work under the hood to diagnose the problem. Henry would still pace the field on the restart while Bahanna looks low under Russell to regain the fourth spot as they go back to green, but to no avail. After getting back on the lead lap and starting at the tail of the field, Poole has sliced his way through the pack. Here he challenges Scott Wiley in the 47 for the 11th position. Bahanna's top five run disappears as he comes to a stop on the front stretch on lap 38. On the restart, the top eight cars run single file while Poole moves into the top 10 after getting around Jeff Amsdale in the 0-2. He then moves into ninth place as he shoots under John Komarinsky who starts to experience some mechanical woes. The caution flies on lap 44 after Neil Brown, who had made a couple of pit stops, spins while racing for a position with Bahanna. A couple of laps after the restart, Wiltrot has been able to keep pace with Henry. Then as they go through one and two, Henry moves high and Wiltrot regains the top spot. After falling back to third, Henry pits for tires under caution on lap 50. After the halfway point, restarts are double file. This places Will Thomas alongside the leader Wiltrot. Russell was running third while points leader Barry Audi in the black 75 races Carter for the fourth spot. 
Poole's impressive charge through the field comes to an end when he pits under caution on lap 53. He would lose three laps. There were a few cautions after the midway point of the race. Carter pitted and gave up his top 10 run. Under the same yellow flag, Russell, who was running third, comes to a stop with ignition problems. On a restart, we have Will Trout and Thomas at the head of the field. Audi and Kostelnik are third and fourth. Bobby Henry and Neil Brown have worked their way back into the top eight. Down the back stretch, Thomas works the outside of Will Trout for the lead, but settles into the second spot. Here, Jeff Brown in the three is sandwiched between the bench cars of Kostelnik and Neil Brown as they battle for fifth place. On lap 79, Audi takes the runner-up position away from Thomas, while Henry is not far behind in fourth. Then there is more heartbreak on the evening as Kostelnik parks his ride after having a tire going down. For the last 20 circuits, Audi tried to catch Will Trout. On the last lap, Will Trout pushes high and turns three and four, opening the door for Audi to make a move. But Gary Will Trout holds him off to garner his second win in the Steel City 100. Okay, Gary, I want to know, was this a conspiracy or meant to be with the teammates and your sponsors uh, sp sponsoring the night? Well, it probably looks like it's conspiracy, but I tell you what, uh, it, it, it worked out for the best. I know that we did this, I don't know, three or four years ago, five years maybe up at Jennerstown, and uh, it didn't fare out very well that night, but uh, thank goodness it fared out tonight. Now you had the early lead and then Bobby got around you. Did you let him go or was he just faster? Well, he was pretty quick. Bobby was really quick, and uh, I, I guess he got a flat tire, but uh, I just wish he could have stayed in there and we could have, me and him could have battled, but um, it wasn't meant to be, so I'm just glad we're here. And uh, you made things interesting in that last lap. You pushed up in three and four, and uh, Audi almost got you. Yeah, he's a tough competitor. I tell you what, nobody wants to see him in the rearview mirror, but uh, I think I was just overdriving a little bit there and got that marbles up there. There was a lot of rubber on the track, and, you know, just thank goodness we're here. Uh, with you and Bobby being teammates, do you share setups? Do you drive uh, similar styles? Yeah, well, it's pretty close. I mean, when we first started, uh, you know, we got Bobby in a car there. Me and him was way off. I mean, he was in left field and I was in right field, but we're pretty close to the setups right now. So Gary Wiltrout is your winner in the Steel City 100 with Barry Audi a close second. Will Thomas came in third, while Bobby Henry and Neil Brown worked their ways from the rear of the field to finish fourth and fifth, respectively. The TBRA series will be in action at Motordrome in a couple of weeks for a 75 lapper. Coming up next on Pit Pass, a special Sunday night program at Dog Hollow Speedway, the UFO Super Late Models, and the first appearance of the 410 Sprints at the track. We will be right back after this. When you think golf carts, think Jake's Custom Golf Carts. With over 300 stock and lifted carts at their shop, you'll find the cart you need or have Jake's build one to your specs. Custom airbrushing, lift kits, sport shifters, rear seats. You name it with the expertise and craftsmanship people have come to expect from Jake's. Come see for yourself why Jake's is the nation's premier golf cart provider. Jake's Golf Carts, Route 520 to McVeigh Town. Online at jakesgolfcarts.com. <laughs> 